is where they said Jack Daniel's grave is. So, where do our travels take us today, Madam Mayor? Today we are back in Lynchburg. Oh, Lynchburg. We didn't get to tour the center, the city center, did we? There's so much here. I think we could visit here quite often and still have plenty to look at. I mean, there's tons of shops all around here. Right behind me is the courthouse, and that's a pretty spectacular looking building. And it's not really labeled or marked anywhere exactly what the building is. It looks like a courthouse. Yes. So I stuck my head in there and I asked, the, there was an officer, a police officer in there, and I asked him, what is this building? He goes, it's a courthouse. I'm like, okay, it's been verified it's a courthouse. <laughs> it has the look, just no labels. No labels. It's got some um, veteran memorials around it, but that doesn't say courthouse. And there's still a lot to see, so where do you want to start? I don't know. We're right in the center city center so i don't know you we wanna... haven't gone into any of these shops yet except for one except for one and we're going to want to go back in there as well yes, because we want to look and see if they can make us a barrel to see what their price would be for a dinner table for a dinner table right and we weren't as serious when we were here first but now it's seeped in and that's what we really want right and we have priced one on marketplace a guy makes them but it's up near Nashville, so we wanted to price it here because it's closer, but you have to factor in the sales tax. So we're, we're price comparing. Juggling it up. We're juggling it up. So where do you want to start? You want to just start over in one corner and make our way around? Let's do it that way. Okay. So There's a Harley Davidson shop there on the corner. Make your way over to Southern Perks. Looks like a sub shop, coffee shop. A candy store, Velma's. Lynchburg Ladies Handiwork right here. You got an ice cream and a pizza place right next door. They say they have Jack Daniels ice cream in there. Ooh, what would Jack Daniels ice cream taste like? I don't know, but I can't even try it right now because I'm on my eating plan. That's okay. I can try it for you. <laughs> Thanks. You'll give me the DL? I'll give you the DL. The retreat at Whiskey Creek. Sounds like they're busy doing some work up ahead. Yeah, we might be talking over a sander. Sounds like a sander. Ooh, a leather shop. Yeah. For sale. <laughs> They're selling the whole shop. Oh, wow. The winery shop. Yeah. So this is a wine winer, a winery. A wine winery. <laughs> what do so you it's think? it's okay for me to wine in here? Yeah, I think so. That's it good. says you can. Because <laughs> you look like I need a drink. <laughs> You know, you can drink in a dry can. Our legislated differently than that of liquor stores and bars. We can serve and sell only the products we make and bottle here. Okay. Uh, up the ramp. Perfect. Thank you. wine tasting just in case you're interested it's $6.95 and you get to choose any five of our wines oh. and then we also have our distillery on this side and okay. we do tastings of our five different whiskeys vodka rum and our four different flavored moonshines wow. we do a spirits tasting which is our most popular whiskey our vodka rum and our holland shine 
can also get a drink made with any of our products. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Very neat. I've never actually been to a wine tasting. Oh, no? No. I did at the Dalton. It's been a It's called Madame Mayor's Adventures. Oh, my gosh. I follow you guys. And I really? follow Jeremy. And yeah. No oh, way. Yeah. I thought I recognized you. I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. That's oh, cool. That's we cool. ran into a fan. Yeah. That's neat. It's pretty fun. I, uh, I love working here. It's, it's a nice place to work. Um, we also, oh. like I said, do wine tasting. So if you are interested, we have many different kinds, dry, semi-sweet, some sweets. Uh, we also have two different muscadines. I'm sure living in Florida, you know about muscadines. So uh, we have one that's a semi-sweet and then one that is also a sweet that has a little bit of carbonation in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in that. Yeah. Or today we're... There's so much stuff here. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of times. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of stuff. Have you gone and done the Jack Daniels distillery tour yet? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, we did that. We, we, we did that and, and, okay. and... We were in the jail. And yeah, then I'm like, oh, I want to go back. There's still so much we have. Yeah, we. Miss Mary Bobo's. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is crazy good. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Hi. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Hey, <laughs> Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. So, what do you think? How do you like these tables? I like them both, actually. We've got a friend here. So cute. Cute little friend. Very neat. Yeah, good. Got a little pepper Today's good move. So many sponsored by wine. <laughs> no venophobia, the fear of running out of wine. <laughs> That's funny. These are funny. Are they funny because they're mostly yes. true? <laughs> yeah. Motherhood, powered by love, fueled by coffee, sustained by wine. <laughs> Tables. I don't see a sale on those. <laughs> no, I don't need <laughs> Just take a shirt. That's all you get. Look what I found. I wonder if they're hiring. I bet they are. <laughs> You could deliver mail in Lynchburg. How cool would that be? 
Does that mean you could go to tastings on your breaks? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. That'd be great. It's a dry town, so who, who would you know? Who would suspect anything, right? You can get wet in a dry town. That's it. Hey, you want to get some soap? I found some stuff you could buy me. Look at these cuties. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think I see you wearing those. I would definitely wear those. Oh, I guess I don't know you very well. If you think I'm <laughs> cute now, wait until you see me in my cowgirl boots. Yeah. Lots of nice gift shops here. The sales tax is extremely high here. It's nine and a half percent. But a lot of the places offer veteran discounts, up to 20%, we've heard so far in some of them. Look at that. Barbecue. Ooh, the Caboose Cafe. You could have a barbecue salad. <laughs> they might. There's the old jailhouse. Wonder what they have on the menu today. have to come back here. What do you think? Too bad they're all empty. <laughs> Oh, Shelvis. Is that shelving of Elvis? Shelvis? Yeah. That's what George has. She has a Shelvis. A Shelvis. Oh, I'm finished. They think he just said it was up to each one of these things. 
Antiques. We've seen some of these in um, storage units. I yeah. had one. Yeah, you had one. Yeah. I don't know if I ever sold it or I ended up giving it away. Just the oh, lid. I I oh, there you go. Yeah. You might be able to find it here. Put a lid on it. <laughs> Robert E. Lee. That's a neat picture. I have a lot of neat stuff in this shop. Oh yeah, I remember those, yes. Wow, that's really old, man. I have forgotten about those bowls. Wait, if that's really old, does that mean we're really old? <laughs> I think we're Is getting there. Is that what we're saying here? We're getting there, we're vintage. <laughs> we're getting there. So we're not old, we're vintage. Yes, vintage. I like vintage. that better, it sounds a little bit better. I know, it seems a little more acceptable. acceptable. Oh, look, they have prayer cards. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I don't think I'd seen that before. Okay, you want to go with me in the Coke corner? Sure. Uh oh, everything Coke. This ain't the rug kind of Coke. This is Coca-Cola Coke. M&M's. M&M's. All these old bottles. I'd say they're vintage. They're neat. There's even some that are full. Okay, they're North, North Pole one way and Daytona Beach the other way. That's funny. <laughs> Lincoln Logs. Oh my goodness. I had those. I had those too. Now that's vintage. I love Lincoln Logs. I had cups like this too. Yeah, I did too. McDonald's, I think, gave them out. A bunch of steins. Yeah, cool steins. Most of them are Budweiser, Clydesdale, Steins. I think there was a, more than that at that garage sale we oh, just yeah. went to. A ton of them. It's neat to see all the old stuff. I like the way they made a thermometer out of that one. Here's some old comic books. Now those can bring some money if you got the right ones. I used to have a whole bunch of these too. Old Catwoman, Superboy. The Lone Ranger. Some pretty neat ones in here. Casper. Yeah, and they're all covered too. They're in good shape. Very much so. So cool. Look behind you, there's like chickens and roosters. Crush, Crush Bottle Company. They have some cool stuff in here. I really they like do this shop. have some cool stuff. On the, they got stuff from all across the planet.
house fell down. In the neighbor's house? Yeah. Can I see? The teacher just told me to do an accident. I don't know. It's just so many things. It's hard to get everything. This is definitely a place to do yeah, not only is it a, a tourist destination, but they got some cool things. There's a lot of history. A lot of history oh, here, yeah. yes. Finding anything you like? All kinds of stuff. This is so cool. <laughs> no, no, we can't. Can't do everything. There's Florida for you. And these little eggs. My Oma had some really cool eggs. You know, remember when they had the Fabergé eggs and mm -hmm. they were cut out and there was like some decor on the inside of the eggshell. My Oma had a couple of those that were so pretty. Yeah. Continuing our walk around the square. This place is closed. Get that tipsy cake. The tipsy cake. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll have to wait. Whiskey cherries. Give the gift of fudge. <laughs> yep. You can't go wrong with that gift. No, you can't. That's cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> neat. The event center. Moon pies up ahead. Every flavor you can imagine. It says they got the cheapest candy. And the coldest drinks in town. This Bacon would, jerky. These would be vintage too, wouldn't they? <laughs> I used to love the banana ones. Oh. Yeah, let's check out this chair. I think it's more for looks, more of a nostalgic piece. Not very comfortable, but uh, it's cool looking. You look good in it though. You could put a little cushion. Yeah. Is that like metal or is this wood too? Oh, that's wood too. Huh. It looks metal. It's super cool. That was a big tree. Yeah.
Yeah. So we're in the Harley shop here, and this is a really cool bike. I like the backdrop too they got there. So it looks like they don't sell bikes here, it's just an apparel shop. That is really neat. It's like one of the first ones I used to race. I used to race the Indians too. Wow, look how this this speedometer used to work back then. <laughs> Runs right up on top of the tank. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably not much comfort. Yeah, it doesn't look comfortable. But they were probably so stoked to have it, they weren't even thinking about that. <laughs> right. Here we are at the Lynchburg Cemetery because this is where they said Jack Daniel's grave is. So we're going to drive through and see if we can spot it. Quite a few headstones here. Dick McGee. I see a whiskey barrel over there, but it could be a trash can. Yeah, they do like to make the whiskey barrels into trash cans around here. Looks like some pretty nice headstones mm, here. They got some more area over here too. Glad we have a small vehicle. I see Bobo. Maybe I should have took that one. We'll try this one. Let's try. There's even ones way up the hill over there. Kind of on the side of a hill. I see lots of bobo. Yeah, lots of bobos. Can. I think those are trash cans. Yes, they are. Yep, I do believe it's up ahead. Right here you can see Jack Daniels. There's a couple different ones. His is the one with the two seats. And as you can see, people like to leave little bottles. And that is Jack's. So if you want to come down and have a seat and talk for a while. See, this is for the Daniel family. Got a couple of different ones. Motlow. There's some more Daniels. That's South Church Street. 